Kung gumagamit ka ng Google Tools ngayon sa pagtuturo, panurin mo ito para maging updated sa mga pagbabago at additional features para mas maging effective at maging wais sa paggamit ng mga ito. Ano ba ang mga mababago? Hindi na ba siya cheesy? Unlimited storage pa din ba? Anong mga mawawala at madadagdag? Ito pa din ang Look Beyond the Classroom where learning has a limit. Lahat ng dapat niyong malaman tungkol sa update ng Learning with Google ay mapapanoodin niyo sa channel na ito. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video sa mga colleagues, teacher friends, students, and parents na gumagamit ng applications ni Google. So ayun na nga, sa recent event ng Google na Learning with Google last Feb 17 to 18, 2021, Google Workspace for Education na ang tawag sa kinasanayan natin ng G Suite for Education. Tama po! No more G Suite but welcome Google Workspace. Don't worry dahil pareho pa din na magagamit ninyo ang mga useful apps tulad na lang ng Gmail, Calendar, Meet, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Classroom, Drive at marami pang iba. For continuous improvement, as Google is adapting to the evolving needs ng members ng ating school communities, ang Google Workspace for Education ay nagkaroon na ng apat na distinct editions na dati ay dalawa lang. Ang movement na ito ay para mas mamit ang samot-saring pangailangan ng mga schools at educational institutions sa buong mundo. Una, Ang free edition na G Suite for Education is now rebranded to Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. Ito ay mananatiling libre with new features and some modifications na pag-uusapan pa natin maya-maya. Ikalawa, kung gusto naman ng leveled up security features, meron tayong bagong Google Workspace for Education standard which will be available for purchase anytime soon. This includes everything in education fundamentals as well as enhanced security tools with greater visibility, audit logs, and advanced mobile management para maging mas secure ang online learning. Ikatlo, ang teaching and learning upgrade naman Ang isa pang bagong edition na ang focus ay para ma-enhance ang instructional impact ng mga teachers tulad na lang ng pagpo-provide ng advanced video communication capabilities sa Google Meet, enrich classroom experiences with Google Classroom through tools tulad ng originality reports. At ang huli at ikaapat na edition ay ang Google Workspace for Education Plus. Ito ang dating G Suite Enterprise for Education. This builds on education fundamentals, education standard, at teaching and learning upgrade. Ito ang pinakamataas na edition that will give schools comprehensive solutions with advanced security and analytics at teaching and learning capabilities at madami pang iba. Available na ang Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals at Education Plus ngayon. Pero sa Education Standard at Teaching and Learning Upgrade, schools and educational institutions can purchase them starting April 14, 2021. Let's try to compare them side by side para mas maitindihan pang mabuti at malaman ang nababagay sa needs ng schools inyo. Again, libre pa din ang Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals. So, with data loss prevention features for Gmail at in compliance with FEMPA, POPA, at GDPR. Ang Google Workspace for Education standard includes everything sa education fundamentals at focused sa added security features at $3 per student per year. Ang teaching and learning upgrade naman ay maa-avail at $4 per license per month with larger number of participants 
na pwede i-accommodate sa Google Meet with premium features at live streaming capabilities. At syempre, upgraded features then for Google Classroom. At sa Google Workspace for Education Plus ay pinagsama-sama ng features ng tatlong na unang editions at $5 per student per year at mas pinalakas pang features tulad na lang ng pagkakaroon ng personalized cloud search to make information accessible and easy to find. Punta tayo sa collaboration features. May kita natin na pare-parehong may check at magagamit si Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, Sites, at Groups. Pagdating sa Google Classroom, kung nais gumamit ng third-party applications, ito ay pwede para lamang sa teaching and learning upgrade at Google Workspace for Education Plus Editions. Ang originality reports na gusto mo sa natin to check for any plagiarism and to know how our students compose their documents, we have five reports per class sa fundamentals at unlimited with peer comparison naman for teaching and learning upgrade at plus editions. That's also the same thing with Google Assignments. For applications that help us better connect and communicate, check lahat para sa Gmail at Google Calendar. For Google Meet for video and voice conferencing, we have 100 and 100 participants to accommodate, while 250 and 250 sa dalawang mas mataas na editions. Closed captioning can be enabled for all editions. For live streaming naman, ay available lang sa teaching and learning edition at 10,000 live audience at 100,000 para naman sa plus edition. Para sa Google Meet recordings saved sa ating Google Drive, we have temporary recordings for fundamentals and cannot be downloaded while save anytime you want naman para sa tatlong editions. Check naman sa lahat ang moderation controls, hand raising, digital whiteboarding, at custom backgrounds. Para naman sa polling and Q&A, breakout rooms, attendance tracking, and noise cancellation, this will only be available for teaching and learning upgrade at plus editions. For access, we have Cloud Search. This application is a dashboard that lets you see all your Google Workspace activities and whereabouts all in one place na available lamang sa Plus Edition. Para naman sa Google Drive, for storage ng ating photos, drive files, at Gmail, sa bagong modification, we have 100 terabyte full cloud storage as a school institution for fundamentals. Kaya dapat mas maging wais tayo at makasigurado na ginagamit natin ng gusto at for academic and productivity purposes only ang inilalagay natin at ilalagay natin sa ating mga storage at we'll make sure that we regularly check and delete unnecessary documents. Same din for standard edition with 100 terabyte full cloud storage. Para sa teaching and learning upgrade edition, we have 100 terabyte shared at karagdagang 100 gig per license. While for the education plus, it's going to be 100 terabyte shared at additional 20 gig per license. Ang modification sa storage natin will take effect by July 2022. You heard it right, 2022 pa. Kaya magandang makapag-planning and ma-strategize as a school kung paano natin i-handle ang mga pagbabago ito at anong adjustments at rules ang dapat natin i-implement. With regards to control, check for features sa Security Center at Security Investigation Tool para sa standard at plus editions. Available naman para sa lahat ang e-discovery for emails, chats, and files. Security and admin controls para sa endpoint and mobile device management 
data loss prevention, and advanced protection program. While the rest of the additional control features ay talagang nasa standard at plus additions na pwede pang pag-aralan ng ating mga IT personals when they handle the admin console account for their schools. Para sa mga karagdagang details sa mga major updates, you may check the additional links sa description box sa ibaba. You may also contact QSR Corporation, the Google for Education partner here in the Philippines, to know more on how you can further explore your options as a school. For collaboration, professional development trainings, coachings, and consultancy, you can also email us at lookbeyond.ph at gmail.com. Sana ay madami kayong natutunan sa episode ngayon. The more we know, the more we can think of ways to modify, adjust, and maximize the things we have to do and can do for our students. This is Adrian Look. If you like this video, you can hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates from this channel. So let's look beyond, explore, and move forward. Class, this is